huge difference though guys you know why because I just took and went out on the Fury did a video for Fury Friday and I came back parked that in the garage and I'm taking this beast out for a ride all in the same afternoon and on top of it I ran into a good friend Jen and her friend Cheryl who is now my new friend on the ride when I was riding the Fury and then I followed them on the way home took the Fury back to the house parked it in the garage and then jumped on my deluxe and man <laughs> guys that is such a big difference jumping off of the Fury onto the deluxe it's not a bad difference don't get me wrong absolutely love both bikes just the same I can't like one over the other it's kind of like kids you can't like one over the other right I mean they both are different they both have pros they both have cons but man I am super blessed to be able to have two bikes and to ride them both super happy about that but more so am I happy with today is I have a heel shifter look at that you guys do you see that that makes a huge difference I think I don't know I don't know if, if anybody hates heel shifters out there or if you've never had one or have never experienced one you need to find somebody that has a heel shifter and just ride their bike because Stevie has a heel shifter on his Road King and every time we switch on and off actually once in a while when we switch on and off I really don't like to give up my bike much but every single time I do it's another different ride I won't say it's a ton better but I will say it's better suspension wise because he's got legend suspension on his bike but the heel shifter is a huge gameplay when I was riding his bike and I don't know I just felt like I could do the gears faster see I think I could just shift faster before I was just not that I was taking my time it just took a little bit more time to shift that's nice I like my heel shifter thanks babe I do like it it's a winner I had a couple people tell me oh you're not gonna want that because it'll get in the way where your foot sits but really my foot is fine and I have other ways to adjust my feet on my bars or my pegs so I have a few options and I had a few options before but I do know for one I'm really gonna have to watch my speeding having the heel shifter because I can I can get up to speed a lot faster I don't want to just take my time I want to gear through it <laughs> so here we go <laughs> just created a monster So insert picture here, I had just stopped and said hi to my friend Jen when I was out on the, the Fury Friday ride and Jen has the same deluxe as I do. Hers is put together a little bit differently, she has different bars. It's a little different but it's the same bike and it's so cool to see that. I'm already going <laughs> I need to watch that big time I for one am not looking forward to the next season that is upon us which is winter so in town is a little bit different trying to figure out the heat shifter I know that it's that it's in my head that I need to how I need to downshift and how I need to upshift but it's kind of throwing me for a loop here but I do love it it's just gonna take a little bit to get used to I used to be so scared to come into towns when I was riding I mean it's just so much more to look out for but when I was riding in the Fury and I was just starting out I was so scared to come to town just because I 
I felt like I was a hazard to everybody because I wasn't sure of myself. But now it's not a big deal at all. But then again, going on the world record poker run and also joining up with Sonny and Angie Badger and getting hired on to help them with their business and being on the road for four weeks straight after the world record poker run, that forced me to learn a lot. Whether I was thinking I was learning or not, I was definitely learning. It sure is a difference coming out, <laughs> coming off of my Fury onto the Deluxe though because my Fury does not have apes. So it's just a big switch from going down here to going up here. The difference between jumping off the Fury and onto this bike though is the wind goes up my arms more. Duh, because I have apes. So guys, tell me, do you have a heel shifter? And if so, do you like it or do you hate it? I guess if you hated it, you wouldn't have it on your bike anymore, but maybe you just got your bike and it had it on there and you don't, don't know how to take it off. Well, look below for the link in our video and it will walk you through on how to put one on and probably same thing as how to take it off. So, um, yeah, <laughs> point that out. And also, guys, we have merch now. I don't know if you guys know that, but we do. We have merch. Uh, so we have um, Fury Friday shirts, and we also have Stevie Foe shirts. So go down to the link below, and all of that information will be there. And also, um, the mount for the GoPro, we also have a discount code for that, along with high tail hair on my helmet to keep my hair from blowing in the wind. We also have a discount code for that. So all of that information is down below for all of you. If you guys have any questions, please, please reach out to us comment below ask those questions because we will comment on those questions heel shifter is a huge change I absolutely love it it's nice see and I have enough room for my foot I have willy G pegs too Did you see that I would definitely suggest though if you do not have heel shift shifter on your bike to ride one that does have it before going out and buying one but I'm telling you, it's a world of difference having a heel shifter. The sun's starting to go down. Oh, I'm so sad. I want the sun to go down. So guys, there you have it. The heel shifter, A+. Plus. I love it. I'm glad I have it. I'm glad Stevie helped me put it on. It's a win-win in my book. I love it. But guys, if you like this video, please push that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe, but also hit that bell notification so you know when we load up. And until next time, stay cool, and we will see you 